Port Adelaide was uh, so, um, so used to, so accustomed to success. We played in the 68 grand final in my first year and uh, we were beaten in that one. We, we then made the grand final in 71 and we were beaten in that one. In 72, the same thing. So I'm starting to think, gee, maybe, it, maybe it's something to do with me because I've, I've been playing all those years and the club's been successful and, and now we're not. And uh, a lot of our supporters just didn't accept it. To make the grand final just wasn't, that was the normal. We wanted to be successful as a group and we knew that our chances were running out. We had an experienced side. We um, had introduced a lot of youngsters and uh, they had played two or three years. So we were, we were right ready, as 76 showed, to play good, solid, successful, uh, consistent footy. And we'd blown a chance uh, and a, a big chance. 77 was a pretty good, uh, pretty good year. I can't even remember uh, a, a lot of the games, but I remember the final series and uh, we, we were going reasonably well. We were still ruthless and, and hard and tough. And then um, from memory, we won the second semi-final. So we knew we were gonna be in the grand finals. Once again, uh, that, that uh, relentless pursuit in, in, in doing everything right, to doing whatever we had to. Um, from memory, we lost Ivan Eckerman with a cork thigh. Kimmy Kinnear was unconscious uh, and out of the game. Uh, Daryl Kyle had, uh, had injured a, a groin. Uh, and was out of the game. So Ivan Eckerman had to come back on the ground. Uh, it was a hard, tough uh, first half uh, where uh, players were, were going down and we're hoping they're getting up and you just got back up because you had to and it was a grand final and Ivan Eckerman came back on the ground heavily strapped and went forward and kicked three goals. And um, I remember getting into the, uh, oh, about the 20, minute mark of the last quarter, Kim Hodgman had, uh, I think, kicked, a, kicked a, a really good goal and he came back to the centre and he said, two more of those and we've won the flag. And it, it sort of, I went, hell, if they kick two more goals, they're going to take this flag that, that we, we really have to have. And it snapped everyone into gear and the ball went out of the, the centre circle. Uh, it went to Stephen Copping on the wing and Stephen grabbed it, took off, and Brucey Light caught him and uh, smothered the ball. It went back down the other end, and there was a, a minute or so, two minutes uh, to go, and then um, the ball was uh, in our forward line, and, uh, and the siren blew. So we all just went, oh. And the whole crowd came onto the oval, just uh, hadn't been seen before, the whole, and it was just crushing and we were trying to get to other players and they were trying to get to the centre of the ground and, and we were just crushed out there. If you watch footage of it, it's just people have come from everywhere and, and wanted to be a part of it, wanted to be around the players. We had all ages out there. It wasn't just uh, footy people, uh, their, their, their young ones were coming out. There was black and white uh, all over the oval and, and that's when we sort of realised how important uh, that one game, uh, that uh, premiership was to the whole club. And to finally do it, we just realised then uh, how much everyone lived their life through uh, the success uh, of the Port Adelaide Football Club. Taking us a bloody long time, but by Jesus, worth it.